champagne, purple cups of 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 champagne, champagne, champagne. Ladies and ugly men, welcome to Purple Cups of Champagne. I'm your host, Handsome Guapa Value, the Dawn. Yo, what what's up, going dog? on, everybody? Security John Chetty, yeah. aka the Brown Pat Riley. Mm. It's your boy Josh, aka yeah. FA the Product on Instagram, Twitter. And we back, et bitches. cetera. You know, we back. We back in the mix. I hope you guys enjoyed the last episode because we surely enjoyed it. I had a good time. Chetty got fucking some nice gear out there. Yo, we got thing. a lot of good feedback. A lot of people asking about the Rich Life brand, about the cuts and cloth, you know, barbershop and stuff. Nah, but we had, dope. we had like a 6K views right now, no? Yeah, yeah, right yeah, now, yeah. We had 6K. I and we, we, we just good. We just released it in a, like, a couple of days ago, right? What, two, three days ago? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So no, it's doing, it's doing good. really good. Getting good, good traction, good comments and stuff like that. Good feedback, man. Mm, word, just, man. Word, word. It was dope. It was, one of my, it was one of my favorite episodes. I mean, I thought the guys did really well. B-Man and Rich were just, yo, they're naturals. Sorry. You know what I mean? Bryant. Yes, Brian. Brian What's Brian. up, man? Why he no longer want to be B-Man? Is that a joke? I mean, I guess he just, you know, just evolving. You know, he's a businessman now. He's an owner. Uh, yo, I'm an owner. owner. I'm still Handsome Island. What up? <laughs> well, you became Handsome Island after a minute. You were just Johnny Handsome for a minute. So, you know what? Yeah. If, you're, if your you moniker, evolve, exactly, you if your moniker evolves. Island. Right, right. I've had Handsome Island since 2006. You, right. I didn't wake up and just become the Brian Pat Riley. <laughs> 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 it chose me. I didn't choose it. Word, word. Where did that come from? Um... Uh, I think it was from fantasy basketball, right, Josh? Yeah. And I just called myself the Brown. Teddy's Pat very Riley. creative with but the, now the that, <sighs> but now that Pat Riley, you know, he kind of like you know makes things happen and stuff like that. I feel like with the podcast and just you know with the other podcast that I write for that you don't like me to mention, but I, but I, but I won't. <laughs> nah, you got a but it's one of those. Nah, I'm just saying, you know, writing. <laughs> ghost writing. But, um, you guys don't know what I just sat through for like the last two hours. Shout out to hip hop advocates, man. Who? <laughs> Anyway, back to my story. Oh, I don't man. know what he's talking about. We don't advocate no... F- oh, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. <laughs> By the way, I just sat through two hours of fantasy baseball draft. That was amazing. That's what these guys were doing. We rocked out. I don't know if you guys ever done that, but you'd rather tear your fucking eyelids off your face. <laughs> Shout out to Baseball Barasco. is bad enough to watch. These guys are actually playing fantasy baseball. It was amazing. It's tedious. It's every single night. I won't lie. It is tedious, but uh, it's fun. Absolutely. I'll lose my shit. Can't do that shit, man. Hold on. You've done it, my, dog. My, my, I'm parched right You've now. You've done it. Chetty didn't have beer for us. Yeah, I didn't have anything, man. You've done it. I know. I've done it. By the way, the first and only time I ever played fantasy baseball, you guessed it. I won. It was Daisuke Masuzaka's first year. Nobody was, remembers who that was. Derry Jeter was still a baseball player? Yeah, he was. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, man. Man. He was, Derry Jeter he was, was still round playing pick. average. <laughs> <laughs> right. Bring it in. What? Cheers. What episode Cheers. was this? 54? 53. 53? Yeah, nice we're doing shot. it. Oh, my God. This is really good. Oh, it's from Spain. It's a cava. Really, really good, though. Well, it should have guessed by Barasca. Yeah. And Definitely the, not and French, the, uh, what is that? The shiny stuff. I don't want to. I don't want to say the wrong. Uh, Rose, baby. No, no. The on the, oh, the little here. glittery shit. Yeah, the glittery shit. Guess who ain't living Fancy. that life of shine no Fancy. more. Sweetie, baby. <laughs> ain't just shining what? on her. Is that, is that what we're having? This extra feminine champagne. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Starting off with our our topic with uh, us. <laughs> you guys are pro feminist. Yeah, that's the first topic. Let's let's yeah. jump right into so it. You're not pro feminist. Who me? Yeah. No. Okay. We understood this. We understood this from the time we started this we show. We never had a label on it, but um, we, we, are, we will have female guests yeah, and things definitely. like that. Yo, I know you got somebody that's trying to be on the show. Yeah, I got, yeah, yeah. Yo, man, yeah. last episode changed the fucking game for us. Absolutely. I'm so excited, man. We are like the fucking Migos now of podcasts. Facts. Like the new wave. Remember we, how Migos we, came and their whole flow just changed everything up? Mm-hmm. Well, Drake took their flow and made it change up? That's us right now. <laughs> I like the accuracy on that. It's the yeah, so we went from being the Wu-Tang of podcasts evolving into the Migos of podcasts. Man. Well, we're, we're still we're moving at lightning uh, yeah. speed, man. We're, we're still Matt Ray and uh, Ghostface. Cruise, uh, 20, uh, 2010 cruise. 2010 yeah. cruise. Who are we going to be next? Who knows? Exactly. Who knows what happens next? We're going to be living in 2030. Yeah, I feel like we skipped. Um, we went from Wu-Tang. D4L? <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Dilated peoples. <laughs> you want to do that next? <laughs> <laughs> slum, vill- <laughs> slum village. He's not, he's not fucking with no none back. Of that. I just said all back back rap. Yeah. <laughs> I'm good. But anyway, well, y'all saw the, you saw the thing with uh, 
we're talking about Migos. Um, you see, I saw the thing with Quavo and uh, is this, I'm if I'm saying the name wrong, I'm sorry, everybody. But uh, Sweetie, right? Yeah, or Sweetie. Just, no, it's just but Sweetie. It's, it, but it's spelled like Saweetie. Yeah, right. She's yeah. from the south. They can't uh, spell Saweetie. Okay, just Sweetie. Sweetie. No, but it's Sweetie. Hey, Sweetie. Yeah, exactly. All right, man. The girl that Quavo was going out Sweetie, with, Sweetie, right? man. Sweetie. So, <laughs> one of the top rappers of our time right now. Yo, um, she, yo. And I'm not talking about Quavo. I like a couple of her songs, man. I know it sounds crazy, but there's a couple of songs that sound good. You know, like you like female rappers. You like Doja, I've learned, you like Doja Cat. I like them. I like them. And I didn't, it's not like I walk around listening to that. <laughs> but when when I I list, I, I'm curious in people's catalog, and when I go through it, mm. I'm like, yo, you know, I try to be unbiased and be like, yo, this shit, it sounds good. That's a good sound. I'm curious because as usually I notice there's a lot more of the married men that listen to the the female rappers. <laughs> so I don't know if that's a tie into like their right, wives right. or what's going on there. But well, I I think that um. I was, uh, like, for example, that remember when Beyonce dropped an album? Uh, that's the first time I even was open to liking, like, a Beyonce song. And it wasn't even, like, I liked the song. Like, I would listen to it. But mm-hmm. it was um, flawless and shit. I like got the beat was just fucking ridiculous. But Who wrote Bre- that? Brenda put me onto that shit. And then even, I think, Sweetie's first song, she was listening to it. And I was just like, yo, that's a good song. Like, I want to identify that. So even, like, you know, I'd be like, yo, that, that's a good song right there. She's playing in the background. So I'm exposed myself. to it. Mm-hmm. No. Dun, dun. That wasn't it. Yeah, my sister gets on me all the time for not having any Beyonce and Maserato. Like I have, like why absolutely would you? Necessary. No, you necessary. But, like, necessary. but no, but like you, sh- you should like if What's you're on? like playing a, a party and stuff like that. Dangerous I Love. Think, I think the only Dog, there's mad records. Nah, there's a lot. There's, there's a lot. There's mad there's a records lot. that Beyonce played there's at parties. What about the, the joint with uh, Kanye and Beyonce? Um, Eagle. Kanye, Beyonce, and J Cole. Oh yeah, that's another one. I don't but, want to um, be at any of your parties. But I mean, I mean, the girls want to hear that though. Yeah, man. So I'm t- I'm if I play Beyonce, freak them dress and shit like that, and you will be there. So there you oh, go. I'm just no, saying, sorry. like, yo, dog. I I, I remember in in, uh, in my in my dad's first spot body. Mm. Did we used to do after work parties and shit. That's what I. They it seemed like they played the whole Beyonce album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm yeah, talking yeah. about like they and had to. Knew, the, they the had to work for work. because if you're in a club, they're gonna play songs that girls like because mm. that's gonna make the party rock. So like, this so. Saweetie girl is she like headed in that area of as far as like being like she, a dope she, rapper? Yeah, or, she like, definitely. Okay, is. put it this way. I, so pretty much everybody knows that her and Quavo broke up. Is yeah. she gonna come out on the other side and being like a better artist? She's gonna be no, she's not gonna be better than now. Quavo. I don't think. No, 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 no. I'm talking about be- just a better artist in general. Like now, she's gonna have a whole bunch of stuff to like material to write about. Maybe. Okay. I think that uh, women rappers lane a lot of time be on some like super independent, like fuck these dudes. Mm. I'm this and like really like. So I think that's like a, a lane that actually works for a female rapper. I wonder if she thought that when he took a Bentley. <laughs> Like fuck this dude! I can't afford a Bentley on my own, but he gave it to me just because I'm a girl. Yeah, she, you're probably right at this point. That independence should go out the window at that point. You're, you're probably right at this point. Let me ask you this: if if you were wrong, I don't know who was wrong and who was right. Like it didn't come out. Like I guess they both have their own sides of the story. I think Quavo. She said, said he's no. a cheater. Yeah, Quavo said, "Hey, you know what? I believe that you weren't the girl that I thought <laughs> you weren't the he's girl a that rapper. I th- you, you weren't do? the girl exactly. that I thought you were, or whatever the case may be." <laughs> right? Yeah. Um. And uh, so it's one of those. <laughs> that was things. his argument. You weren't. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, were. yeah. You made me cheat. <laughs> Whatever the case. Yeah, yeah. Be, right. That'll be my argument. But it's one of those. It's one of those things that, like, yo, do you? So if you were wrong and you know you're wrong, you go back there and take the stuff. Like when you give a gift, when you give a gift to your significant other, you're like, are you definitely just taking that gift back when y'all break up, or is it one of those things like, yo, you know what? Charge it to the game. It's yours. I'm never charging a Bentley to the game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also, right it depends now. on the price. I, you could say that. I mean, yeah. just because I uh, think it's sucker shit. I, I listen. You shouldn't give a gift in the beginning if you if you ever plan on, on taking mm. it back or whatever. Yeah. But once again, I've never gifted someone a fucking Bentley. Right. You know what I mean. So okay, but like uh, we'll we'll talk like in normal people's like 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 okay okay, okay. For, for, for instance, if um I know guys that I know women that keep their engagement ring when the engagement breaks off. Would you guys take the ring back? Wow. Josh, you don't have to answer. No, no, no. I, I, I want to answer. I mean, okay. I, I have no problem with that, man. I'll be honest, but I, I have to. I really have to think about it. What mm-hmm. um, if it was your fault? You understand what I'm saying? Like, like, like got to put it in context. Like, does that matter? Like, does that matter? Where it's okay? Is it? Was it his fault that you know things fucked up? Like he went and cheated or whatever, or or he just figured, yo, I don't want to be in this anymore. Believe it or not, I, I so don't do think you leave her with the ring as a consolation prize, or do you just say, yo, I, I'm gonna need my ring back too? Okay. Yeah. I used um, to work with a. I used to work with an attorney. And she told me she's been like engaged like five times, yeah. and she kept all five rings. Yeah, no, I, like, I, I, I wouldn't. I, you know what? I wouldn't. I was like, you got else. one more. You are gonna be Jordan? Yeah, what the fact. fuck? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you gonna be J Lo? You, you already passed, you <laughs> passed <laughs> Braun. You know what J-Lo. I mean? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> right, right. You J Lo, right? Word, word. Right. Now, so. you know, you know what? I just the same way I said before. Like, mm. if you give a gift, see, I'm, I, I know every time I've given someone something, I never wanted it back for sure. Mm. If you give a gift, yo, bro, you gave the gift up. I, 
I can't explain it. Like, it's just like a man of your word type thing, integrity thing. Like, I feel like once you give it to someone, if it was a situation where I lend you some stuff, like, you know, uh, something that I probably didn't expect to get back because I thought that we were probably going to stay together kept, or whatever. That you just kept at her house. Or yeah, exactly, like that. exactly. Right. Then yeah. I would want that back. Uh-huh. Yeah, but if I give a gift, and even if a, a engagement ring isn't a gift, it's still something that I know I gave and I worked my way up to give to that person or whatever. Like, it is what it is. I cut my losses there at that point, you know? So I'll tell you, I'll tell you a quick story. So, like, I think the thing with the vehicle, it's one of those things where if she goes and gets with another guy, now he's pushing Quavo's Bentley. You understand what I'm saying? Like, you remember when, uh, of course, I got to bring back to wrestling. Remember when Hulk Hogan and his wife divorced and she started dating a Hulk Hogan's. No, not a rapper. That was funny. <laughs> that, that would be funny. <laughs> yeah. But um, she started dating uh, one of Hulk's uh, daughter's, like, best friend. Okay. The kid was, like, 23 years old. Yeah. And Hulk, you know, like, has to leave the house. You know, she gets the house. She gets all this other stuff. And he's like, yo, I'm like at my gym and I see this kid driving my fucking Ferrari. Yeah. Speeding down. Like, yo, it's like a slap in the face. You know what I mean? So I think it's one of those things where it's like where Quavo was like, yo, I'm taking this back because like, a, I don't know if it's a pride thing. Yeah. Or whatever. So something. Uh, so I guess like what you what you guys are trying to say is that it's the amount of how much you spent on the gift that you should get I, back. I, 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 or, I, maybe, or maybe what it is. I'll tell you from a personal is. standpoint. Right. Okay. I mean, obviously don't got fucking Bentley money. Right, but I gave my baby mom a Celine bag once. Mm-hmm. I seen her her shit when she's dating this other dude, and she has a Celine bag on her. So how does that make you feel? Nothing. Mm-hmm. There's no part of me that's like, <laughs> bitch is wearing the shoes and the bag I got. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this nigga's gonna hold her back. Yeah. Like you gotta be tripping because once you give it, you give it. Mm-hmm. Again, and that also I think has a lot to do with who you are personally, mm-hmm. right? Because I know a lot of people that would take that personal. Like, yo. Um, I don't know. Give me an example. Like that, that. Like, yo, she's dating other people wearing the fucking necklace that I got her to impress them. And I'm just like, you, you got it for her, right? Yeah. At that time, you wanted to give it to her, right? It's honestly, what are you going to do with it if you get it back? Nothing. Be petty. That's you know all I mean? you're yeah, doing by not doing exactly. it. Uh-huh. Hey, yo, I think anything you take back, and that, that's why the price to me doesn't matter, and I'm not a baller nigga, but again. So he shouldn't have taken back the Bentley. That's you know it's difficult there, right? Because if he's still his owner of that Bentley, mm-hmm. meaning I gifted it to you, but that's just registered to me. Right. That's the information I need. Or like usually, like I with agree. a with a with a car that expensive, they usually lease some shit like that, right? Yeah. So yeah. if I'm making the payments on it, it's either I hit you if with yo, name, hey, are, are you gonna make the payments now? Because now you know it's yours. Yeah. I'm sure they definitely didn't have that conversation. I'm sure it was like, you know, I I, I would even think, and I'm trying to think of there was another story or another another situation with celebrities where. They continue to make the payments on the item, and then it was just kind of like, "Yo, like, why am I still making the payments on the item? Like, you've, you know, it, 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 you've moved on. So yeah. now, should I still make the payments because you moved on? You know what I mean? I think it should have just been once we broke up, that conversation should have been had. Hey, yo, you know, you're gonna be able to make this transfer think, ownership. You're gonna be able to make the payments on. I this? think if things are are like uh. done the right way, probably things will go down that way. Yeah, you know. What but I'm then saying? when you're when you're in the heat of the moment, do you even want to see that person's face? Probably not. You know what I'm saying? Like, you definitely don't want to. You know. Then you take know, the L. You know what I mean? To charge, send, so you charge it to the game. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, to send a repo man and go And, and, it, and it does like, depend on, on how it went down, though. Chetty. Yeah. yeah. But know, wait, wait. That's, that's it, cancer season. It, wait, wait. <laughs> it's season with the S-Z-N. Hey, exactly. Exactly. Hold on. One. Yes. Shout Hold out on, to one, OVO Diggs. Keep going. Let me find out Quavo's yeah. birthday. I thought, uh, oh, geez, the please dog. don't be July 9th, bro. You're fucking July 9th. Nah, I'm never going to hear the end of it. Nah, you should be safe. You know, one thing that matters. Oh, he's an Aries. Yeah, he's petty, too. There's a few things that matter. Like, who, like did he was he wrong in the situation because that does change how you would feel about mm-hmm. even even more wrong to so like if she back. broke exactly his, if she bro- if she exactly. crushed him or broke his heart like should he have even more to be like yo I'm going back and get my Bentley you'd understand it more because then now it's a petty move I get it's a petty move but like if someone does a petty move in that situation they're making an emotional decision it's like you understand it you know but if he did that out of petty like you said. He could be the one that actually did her wrong, but if the, the paperwork is still under his name, then he's doing it because it only makes sense to do it that way. It looks bad to the a public. A lot of times when these guys buy these vehicles and these houses and these big ass, like it's a flex because yeah. I want my girl to like have the be- the the best. And stuff. that matters, but for it's them, for but the it's not shit. right. But it's not it's not for the um, it's not for the yo. I I just want to see her happy. I think it's more of like yo because. I think like you're the girl that you're with is kind of it's it's somewhat of a reflection of you. No, definitely. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yo, it would look bad if like you're dressing like all fucking fresh and your girl, you know, doesn't brush her hair or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah. I, I'll tell you one of the 
I forgot who told me this saying, some shit, man. And it's happened to me, so they were kind of right, I guess, if you want to believe the superstitions. <laughs> who the, oh, don't buy. Sneakers. Yeah, don't buy your girl shoes. She'll walk out, out of your life. life. You know what I mean? Some guy needs nigga told you that shit. That Somebody. Used to at, at, at Mercedes. And it worked, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. It was right. But I still don't sit there like, yo, yeah. can't buy my next chick no shoes. Like, Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've spent money on Brenda's shoes. and well, She's married to you. She hasn't she walked out my life. Nowhere. She hasn't walked out my yeah, life. Yeah, exactly. Dog, you know what I mean? And you oh, lost your ring that time. I bought a girl. Yeah, exactly. I bought a girl. I got this uh, that fake one here. Bought it in his, uh, junction. <laughs> got an injunction. Looks similar. <laughs> I did a girl that has steel. shoes with, with the extra stripe. What's that? <laughs> K-Swiss. And I was like, nah, you can't wear that around me. You can't wear that around me. No, you can't wear that around me. With the extra stripe. You know who you are. The yeah, king. I was like, yo, why is it that extra stripe? I was like, nah, you need to get that for nah, sure. Yo, again, I, I think that's some real like loser shit to take your shit back. I, again, I can't. Account for everybody at, at, at that at that high scale, or, but, like, but, and I also saying. wanted to say, or, or if, even, I'm, if or, I'm rich even, enough to get you a Bentley, yeah, then I should be rich enough to take the L. Yeah, that's true. But you know what? But you know what it is though. What if it was a house? These dudes. It's not only that. These dudes don't. These dudes don't. You in out. real estate? What if it's a house? You can't. Yo, Why man. would you buy somebody a house but then they take it back? But hand, look. Okay, but or, or for instance, like when people are married, and, and like, when they get divorced, the, 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 the man yeah. always leaves the house when it's separated, or right? Whatever, right. But say the man owns the house. Well, I've seen that. I was going to tell you right now. Oh, when, they, when they get a divorce, and mm-hmm. part of the stipulation of divorce is we have to sell the house and split the profits. Split yeah, the profits right, because yeah. everything goes 50-50. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Right? Sometimes, and mo- for the most part, a lot of dudes are like, yo, my kids live there. You live there. You just stay. Yeah. I'll take that fucking L. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to pay the mortgage anymore. That's on you. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? But keep the home. Well, I, I would imagine some men probably still pay the mortgage because that's where the kids Even live. Then, that's, yeah. Yeah. Even then. Right? But then, like, how do you feel, like, when... I'm not saying that none of us know but this person. Another nigga comes in. But, but yeah. eventually she's going to date. Yeah. You know what I mean? Eventually she's going to move on. And it's like, yo, you're paying the house that she lives in. That it's horrible. Yeah. But in the same light, if you really are so with look the at Quavo, your kids. But look at Quavo. So if Quavo what? like sees some dude, like he sees Yo Gotti driving around in his Bentley that he bought, sweetie. <laughs> I can't even say it correctly. But no, you did. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, it, it's it, 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 Yo Gotti's going to flex. And then Quavo is gonna look like a herb. Well, people are gonna call him well, a but, herb. But you know what I, mean? I was gonna say, in your example, I wanted to add to that. Mm-hmm. Like when you were talking about getting the bag and stuff like that, I was gonna say the difference is though, like riding around in the car that he got her is him using the actual thing that he got her. Like if it's a flex. Yeah, if your girl is using the things that you got her, like the earrings or whatever, the mm-hmm. bag and shit like that, and it's her using it though. I'll tell you right now. No, no, I'm just saying that there is a difference in that. For me, there's a huge difference, right? Because now you ride in my car, you sucker. I pay for the shit you drive. That is a perspective. And that's just how I see it. Regardless of what anybody else has seen, I live for me. So at that point, I get that. You a bitch nigga, so you can't afford your own shit. Yo, I'm the reason you got wheels, daddy. Damn, I would I would do some shit like that. Like I would stop, I would pay, 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 and then stop making like four payments, and I'd take that hit on on my credit. Just to make him look bad, just so the repo man could come. Because if the repo man's gonna come and say they repossess Quavos, yeah, yeah. they're gonna say, "Yo, Yo Gotti." I don't know why we're bringing up Yo Gotti, but yeah, yeah. Yo right. Gotti's an old head. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. Yo Gotti, yeah, yeah, yeah. He could be Sweetie's dad. Is he fucking one? I don't have no, no insights on this. No, I don't have any sources. Nah, I think she used to be I, Justin's girl. Justin. Justin Combs. Oh, you didn't see the the, okay. the recent thing where they at the at the. He has like this little online show type shit doing like a truth or dare type. Oh, that, that's him and this dude, and and Justin the boy as well. I think right, all of them. But anyway, they, they, there. Yeah. That's, they, where they're like, yo, what, your man's doing everything right. Will you let him have a threesome? Yeah. Da, 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 da. She's like, yeah. Da, da, da. She's like, oh, yeah. I heard, I heard he's got to figure out the nigga's name. It's with Justin LeBoy because they were they were trying to blame him for the breakup or whatever. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that, that kid got some special problems. Now, I knew Pisces, for sure <laughs> that, that was a You thing. saw the stupid shit for today? Point. A sticking point. It gets you the cancer. They're not toxic. You and I both know cancer's mad toxic. Come on. I hate these married guys. <laughs> I mean, his nigga's wife is, sure. a, wife is a cancer. Sure. We're talking about cancer fever, Ca- not cancer me. Yeah, well, cancer. Exactly. well, you're definitely toxic. Yeah, exactly. yeah, you and Fidia are toxic. thousand percent. Brenda's born the same day as my little sister, too. Who's South toxic? Lila. Southside, we outside. Lila, Lila is toxic. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I got to plug Lila's shit, by the way. Facts, facts. She's doing big things. No, but um, All right, so we know the rules. Yeah, you gotta, remember to, plug that, you gotta remember to plug that at the end of the show. Yeah, I do. I just don't know her link. Yeah, I don't know either. But we'll give like her Facebook or some yeah, shit. Yeah. Good job, Josh. All right, let's move on to. Hey, man, I'm <laughs> only human. <laughs> move on to music. <laughs> let's get away from this topic. We already know the rules. Yo, don't be a bitch ass punk and take shit back when you give it. Learn how to be a man. Take your L's. 
bounce back, do it better the next time. Make sure your next girl is your best girl. Yes, Let's sir. get it. Brooklyn to the day we die. Anyway. Queens. So, yeah, yeah. Big Queen, Queens. Big Queens. Yo, New York to the day we die, Big right? Queens. New York. Big Queens. Five boroughs. <laughs> <laughs> Staten Island. Oh my God, Staten, Staten Island. Island right there. No, I'm not, not representing he- Staten Island. I'm just representing. <laughs> that is it. Sanitation. That is it. That's, That's all oh I think about God. when I think about Staten, <laughs> Staten Island. It is a dump. You know, Staten, Staten Island is literally <laughs> a dump. It's a That's level. why. I'm not joking. I feel like all sanitation trucks' last destination is Staten Island. Yo, it's and made it of landfill. It's an island created of landfill. Yeah, let's not shit on New York spots, man. Though, come on, man. Like, that's uh, not New York. You know what it's like? It's that like New York, it's, man. it's like that family member that you shit on, but then when other people shit on you, like yo, chill, chill. No, no, only I can shit on my boys. They, exactly. Yeah, Staten Island's like that. Right, Staten right, right. Island. I feel like, like Joe Boston. I, don't talk it, about no Staten Island. It's funny you bring that. I feel like Joe. I think that's like what Joe, Rory, and Maul going through right now. Yeah, yeah. With them, it's like it's one of those things where. Like this. That was good. So you know, I'm going to edit this part out. But that was cool. <laughs> What's that? Your transition was good. Oh, okay. But yeah, you shouldn't have copied that. <laughs> no, I'm going to edit you it. Edit that really part. good. Yeah. yeah, no, but I think that's what Joe, Rory, and Maul are going through right now. Because, like, I, know, I don't know if everybody's seen, you know, like, this. I, I, I heard the first part of Joe's um, recent podcast. Also, it doesn't sound the same without Rory and Maul. Um, I sure. definitely think that Joe. This is, show won't sound the same if it's just Joe me is Ma- Joe is and Mike, Joe is Michael Jackson, but you definitely need Tito and Jermaine on there. Tito and Jermaine. <laughs> I, I don't mind being Tito. You know what I mean? I, I play. I play, Jermaine, I play, man. I play my role. I play my role. Up, man. Yeah. I play my role. <laughs> He's a liar. I mean, you could be you could be Michael all you want. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got it, man. You got all that. the responsibility. Yeah, I do live yeah, in yeah, a wonderland in my head and think like everything is just my way. Yeah, with little boys around. Right, he climbs up a tree and shit like that. Let me play with the nuggets. No, he didn't do that. He didn't do that. What the fuck you know. talking about? Yo, edit that, edit that. Yeah, edit, edit that. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, like with Joe. Uh, we gotta go there. So I, I, you guys you guys have been watching the last couple of episodes and you felt like there was some type of tension in the room. That's what I was saying. When they're recording. I, the I showed show. you that video mm-hmm. with, with Fa that time and I'm like, yo, they do this every week now yeah. where it's like Rory and Joe, mm-hmm. very disconnected. But they always and Maul's just there like, uh, they always cut on each other though. That's, that's like a part of the show, yeah, but right? It's gotten aggressive. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Is it, it, what, what, are they are they overstepping boundaries? No, you could just see the tension. Nah, I could see, see. I've seen Rory turn a little red. I'll say that like that because you could see somebody. Yeah. Well, I mean, he said white. he wanted to shoot the fair one with Joe. I heard that. Oh, but he's been saying that yeah. for years. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, 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 okay. That's part of their routine. But yeah. I'm telling you, the the amount. Remember, if especially if you watch it on YouTube, that's the beauty of video. Mm. You can't hear it really on the show, but when right. you see their faces, you could tell when Joe's just like. The fuck? Why is this dude doing this shit this episode? So you defending Joe right now? Like, no, nigga. Okay, I'm okay. telling you why they're going through okay, that. Okay, okay. He looks like me when I feel like we're on a topic too long. Yeah. yeah. You see it in my face. Like, yo, this nigga Chetty. <laughs> yeah. That's and, what you're and, saying. And Rory, <laughs> Rory in the same light. Mm-hmm. You got to remember, Rory's 30, Joe and Ma are 40, 39 and 40. Okay. Right? So Rory's still in that fight rage. Like, yeah, yeah let me argue to the death type right, shit. Right, right, Whereas right, right. they're more like, yo, hold on, man. All right, cool. We disagree with that. But- you know it, and I know it. Joe thinks he's always right. That's what I was gonna say right now. So I could understand why he can real quick. Just why he can get to Rory no, yeah, in that yeah. way, because Joe, he says things in a, such a like like oh, I'm gonna shut this he's, nigga down yeah. type shit. Which it is what it is, man. You gotta have thick skin, and it is what it is. But Joe said, does have a way to talk. I've to always people said that, Joe you know? comes off as a hip hop snob. He 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 is. I feel like yeah, that, he but, does. but like he's so passionate about it. So it's one of those things where it's like, yo, he's usually what? right. He knows his shit. Exactly. So yeah. I'm gonna like, I, I, even though I may disagree with this particular point, he's made so many other good points that it's just kind of like, yo, I'm not gonna like hold him to this one thing that I'm like, yo, I don't disagree with to make him be like, yo, Joe don't know what he's talking about. Yeah. No, Joe does know what he's talking about. You know yeah. what I mean? And this is coming from, I'm, I'm a big fan of, I'm more of a fan of him as a podcast guy, as, than a, rapper, than, than, as a rapper. Not saying that he's whack, he's great, but like, it's one of those things. No one where made I was that like, statement. Why you have to say that? Yeah, I know. No, no, because we, you guys know personally, like we talk about Joe as an artist and like how I feel about <laughs> Joe's music compared to him being a pod, on the podcast. He just wants to make it clear. He wants to put his no, you know, no, stand. yeah, 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 no. That you always lying in the sand. As, as far yeah, as on, uh, yo, that he don't know music. But no, that's the thing with Joe though is that yo Joe knows his shit, and I feel like with Rory and Maul and what I appreciated about the show was that yeah. We all know that Joe was a rapper, and he was a famous rapper, and uh, he still is a famous entity or whatever. It's just oh, a fam- entertainer. famous person. Entertain- right. And, but he respected them as far as like when they had something to say. Like they, They'd make fun of Joe about him like being in a bathtub crying. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, those are the jokes that they make. And like, 
you know, <laughs> it's one of those things, or they may be like, yo, Joe, you make a lot of depressing music. Well, right? that's the point. He lets it rock. Okay, yeah, yeah but that's what makes it great because yeah. who would want to listen to a show with that's see like with with us is like you're the host, but like yo, you know that we're gonna snap on you, yeah. you're gonna snap on us, yeah. and that's what it's gonna be. But it's a little different. With By the Joe. way, Buddha's not here again. <laughs> Fucking waste. I'm the cameraman. Go. <laughs> Shout out speaking to Buddha, of, shout out to Buddha, man. Thanks of. for being here last week, man. Did a great job. Word, bro. Um, great job on his phone while while Faz manning the camera. He did a shit, great job. Sure he, he did a good, good job. Yo, what's wrong with job? Yeah. The best picture is the pe- Jetty taking it's a picture. Be good and he's cop, like this. solid cop. He's that, taking you know, his forex. Kind of, there's got to be levels to it. Yeah. <laughs> what my medium cop? <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, I'm medium cop. Oh, you're medium cop. Yeah, oh, yeah I'm like, yeah, he did good. He did good. Oh, I'm good cop, bad cop. Yeah, exactly. I'm great cop. But, You're back up, man. but what made Joe go back to what made Joe's dynamic of their show so good is that yo he is this famous rapper or was a famous rapper, and they still like they 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 can still clown yeah. on each other like it's like three. It's friends. him and his boys, and that's what's so dope about the show. And the thing like and what Maul brought to the table is that yo Maul Maul's gonna be good. You know what I mean? Maul's got so many connections like he's gonna be fine. Yeah, so I think that's why he's comfortable in his own skin. But I think Rory might be the it, – it, it, I may be wrong, but is he the odd man out as far as, like, yo, Joe Budden's podcast is who, who he's known for? I would say so. Because, yo, you're trying to say that Maul can't go and be, tell Biggs, yo, I got this idea. Yo, let's map this out. Right. And Hope is going to help him. Well, look, you know, let's look at the dynamic. Yeah. Is Parks him. is Premier's DJ, uh, Premier's engineer. There you go. Life is set. Right. Yeah. He pretty much all that. DJ engineer, Premier right? is always going to be asked to do something. Yeah. And he's always gonna need. No, and and, and even having that on your resume is mm-hmm. like you're good. Yeah, right. People are gonna right, want right. to work His with you. His house is the set. Because even when, yeah, even when Premier, <laughs> even when Premier goes and says, "Yo, um, I don't want to do this no more," but I got this guy Parks. He's good. Exactly. And even if you're talking about B level people who are like, right. "Yo, I got an engineer who's Premier's and, engineer. I'm paying him. Mm-hmm. They'll pay you whatever you want to pay." So he's gonna make a living. Like, Rory, Rory had like the Henny Palooza. Yo, Rory got Mac Connects first Rory, of all. Remember, Rory does Rory's his thing. from Def Jam. Yeah, Rory, Rory has his thing. own record right. coming right. out. He's an A&R, like no? A&R dude, exactly. Yeah. Right? He so has the Duce Palooza shit, like you just said. So what's so what's Henny Palooza? Is the Henny Palooza or Duce Palooza not right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I remember when it was Henny Palooza. Yeah, yeah. And um, it sold in. I'm sorry. And yo, it was like a big, you know, it was a big thing and stuff like that. A lot of a lot of a lot of artists that I liked. You know what I mean? And um, but yeah, so I don't, I, I don't know what the, the you know, it's friendship, jo- nigga. How yeah. many times have you like spent like three days without talking to Fa? It just happens, dude. Not yeah. too many days. No, but it's happened. Yeah, it's happened. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's we happened. we've seen we've seen like I, I think Joe did the right thing by saying because Joe mentioned today he was like, yo, I told Rory, yo, just take a break. Oh, you that's what, what, what he mean? said. Yeah, that's what I he haven't heard. Yeah, so, I haven't so heard. So Joe the... told him. Joe told him pretty much. He's like, yo, you know, just take a break, take a couple days, and let's just let's just get back yeah. because. He yeah, said don't fuck he, up the bag, he said baby. he said that what he does, uh, absolutely. And he said Joe what Joe does right after the show. It's like it's like with me, right after you post the show, I watch that shit like twice in that day. Then I watch it again during the week, and I'm always like, you know, just looking at things that we can all work on, or like ideas that I could be like, or yeah. or for me, like with the topics, I'm like, I don't want to be repetitive with the topics, so I'm like, all right, well, we can't talk about that because we spoke about that in episode 38. With Joe, Joe said that yo, he was noticing like Damn, their faces. He did that much work. Yeah, I, I, lo- I care about the show, <laughs> but, but it's one of those things where he's like, "Yo, Wait, I am um, guys. I cannot do this alone." Just so you know. Oh yeah, no, it's a team effort, man. Yeah, it's a it's team called effort, Purple Cups and Champagne, yeah. not Handsome and Champagne. It's a team <laughs> effort. But the thing is, with with Joe, Joe was seeing. Um, Joe said he was seeing the expressions on their face, and he was just kind of like, "Yo, I, I don't. What do you think is going on? You think like they're having like you know when you know when a team gets really really good, like a dynasty gets really really good." And there's like a chink in the armor. Is that what they're, are they just going through the motions right now? Ego flare up. I, yeah, bro. no, I, I, yeah, I think I think when things got this big, he's a Taurus like you. Yo, by the way. And understand that they and understand <laughs> that they six your dad's birthday. They, they, it's wild. They they've gone through a lot of different changes too because they've mm-hmm. gone through the getting the Spotify deal in front of everybody. But it's you know, dope because they band together. And no, no, got their you're own right. Shit, you're right. But who's like, to say what's going on behind the scenes with those kind of things? Yes. Because mm-hmm. when you're discussing those deals, sometimes. Some people may not want to be on board with some things and some risks that you're taking and, and discussing those deals, and that could lead to disagreements with within even friends. Mm. I'll tell you, know you that I mean? much like, because when when they got to the Spotify shit and they were talking about the journey that they, you know with every like hundredth episode something they yeah, do the whole thing. Yeah, and he was saying, "Yo, people don't Joe Butter say this. People don't know what really goes on behind the scenes. Like they'll tell you right now, they were going crazy us over turning down this title deal because Rory and Moore were kind of like, what the." Right, right. Let's, let's fucking let's, do it. Let's get this money because. And Joe's like, "Yo, we're worth more." I'm telling you. And like, you got to remember, Joe's probably been through the ringer in the many music a time, industry. Son. You know many what I'm labels, saying? yeah. And like now he's like, "Yo, I know my worth." Thank you, Josh. Mm-hmm. Right. 
So um, no, I get I I get what you're saying. Where like, you know, these guys are looking at it as like, yo, like this is like good money up front or whatever yeah. the case may be. I'm not too sure what the what the deal was, but um, but they're friends, man. But, yo, friends go yeah. through shit like that, yeah. especially family. Real yeah. talk, family. I, I I believe that they are. We're, too. We're, yeah. we're, I, I believe that they're really genuinely. They have like, a really good podcast, yeah. and I hope you know. I hope. That they continue this shit, man. Like, no, it, that that would be it, the ba- bad seemed, time to leave Joe's side. It seemed, uh, it seemed fucking well, awkward. Well, though. But I, you would hate like, to see it. Everyone new, would hate to see it. The the whole the whole group yeah. matters. That image, that show, is the backbone of everything Joe got going. To be honest with you, is like, that three? Like, I'm not saying that there's I, not a lot of rappers that are gonna have their two friends that aren't rappers yeah. or aren't actors or aren't basketball players that are just literally look at look at all all the smoke with it has Stephen Jackson and Matt Barnes. Both former NBA players. Mm-hmm. There's a show with Darius Miles and Q Richardson, both basketball players. What are the show when you have just uh, a regular um, or, or like a news writer yeah. and an athlete? If you ever watch those ep- those shows, the athlete dominates the show because yeah. he's always going to say, "You never played the game." Yeah, how's you LeBron never, show? The you never shit. get when LeBron is on the shop. It's more. See, the thing is, they'll have a mixture of athletes, actors. It's a pretty much a lot of power, a lot of power players. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people on Maverick the same, Carter, man. A lot of people on the same level. Like LeBron wouldn't have a lot of the deals if it wasn't for Maverick. Yeah. So it's one of those things where it's like all these guys are on the same level. But now imagine, like Rory and Maul probably haven't done the things in entertainment that Joe has done. Right. But for him to still, that's what that for me. That's nah, what attra- attracted me to the show. Uh-huh. The dynamic of their show is like, yo, you know what? Yeah, I I I was this famous rapper. I'm a fr- I'm a celebrity. You know what I mean? But I'm down to earth with you well, guys because bo- yeah. they're they're like our voice. They allow right. They're they, like our voice. They you know allow I mean? their boys to shit on them just like you exactly, know what I'm saying. Yeah. Like who's who in Fifty's crew shitting on Fifty? Nobody. They canceled right away, dude. Nobody. <laughs> That's like Prince. Prince Nobody. just cut people because off because Fifty will go and find <laughs> find the crazy, picture of you yeah. in the fifth grade and fucking you said with him with Prince. Mm. I mean, like, who, nobody's really like who besides maybe Tata who can really talk to Jay and be like, Yo, Jay, what are you wearing right now, dude? Yeah. But look at me. Like you I allow you guys to be yourselves and I'm the star. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's like, true. You do have a lot of Joe Bunn in you. I'm a star, man. <laughs> we, we, we appreciate that, man. Thanks. <laughs> nah, oh, man. I, I, I really, yo, again, I, I do think the, that's why I don't understand why Maul is off. It, it, truth talks. Like, mm. that, that to me was the more one to not understand. Do you know? No, no I don't know. You think Maul maybe don't want to pick sides? I wanted to say that, I, I, I mean, from what they're saying, mm. you know, nothing said in stone. Everything's yeah, yeah, yeah. up, you know, mad rumors and And this could and change by the time this show releases. This could hold. Yeah, they're going to be fine. This could change. Right. I think they're going to be yeah, fine. I really sure. hope. But I wanted to say that they said that. Uh, Brenda watches them every freaking week, twice a week. No, she watches us twice a week. And she watches them Mom, Wednesday a little bit. and Saturday. Kind of. She hasn't watched the ep- shows in a while, too. Oh, that's what you call, ladies and gentlemen, putting your foot down. Yeah. <laughs> Josh Robles. <laughs> Not bad, man. Shout out to nah, Brenda. Man. Yeah, that word. But she, she uh, we were talking about it today actually, and it was um, they said that Ma that he told uh, R- when he told Rory to take uh, time off that he didn't expect Ma to take time off, but Ma I guess Ma took it as like he was gonna take time off as well. I think that him and Rory took that think they're together. Like I think they're actually together, or they just took time off together. That's some fake shit. Ma Ma is Joe's guy. Dog, you can't say that yet. But just if that's the truth, then oh, it's fake yeah, shit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? My because apologies. These are all rumors. When and I all. see you in the fucking hall. Don't think like things are. All- <laughs> By the way, you stopped answering my DMs on Twitter two years ago. <laughs> that shit was weird. As soon as you got the fame, things changed. <laughs> yes, that's not weird. That's yo, imagine, very normal. Yo, imagine <laughs> that, Joe. Imagine go, Joe goes and gets fucking like Adam 22 and B dot. <laughs> <to replace laughs> Holy that shit. shit. That would be hilarious. Because if you have Adam 22 and Rory spot. I, 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 that's what I'm saying. Like, I that literally thought of be, a famous white podcast. Yeah, that's, guy that would be hilarious. B dot, because B dot knows his shit about fucking hip hop. That would be amazing. And yo, dogs, that B dot. Thomas Edison alumni. <laughs> what up, daddy? Imagine he just did that shit just for like a one for one episode. Just to like. That would be funny. That would be, be funny yeah. as fuck. You know what I mean? Or bring Diddy to be a mall seat. Or like two super power players. Yeah, like remember Leo, Diddy's his man. Like, like, imagine, to act brand new and shit. He brought to act Diddy, Diddy there new. and Leo Cohen, <laughs> the white guy. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! Nah, no Leo. That's a culture vulture. Oh, it's, yeah. yeah shout, that's out, shout, shout out to Dame. Shout out to Dame. Yeah, my bad, Dame. I didn't mean to say. Oh, that. Oh, he could Leo bring. Uh, <laughs> he could bring Drake. <laughs> oh yeah, he's white enough. Drake's white, yeah. yeah. And Drake's an actor. He could paint himself like a you know. He got paint himself. He looks just like Rory. The red hair. Yeah, the red hair. Yeah, exactly. Ginger stuff. Honestly, man, but that would be a power play though. That would be a crazy power play. I'm yeah, yo, and honestly, there's an avenue where this is for, I'm being honest with you, this is for publicity in a way. I wouldn't put it past them. Someone someone um, did a, a meme saying that it's some WWE <laughs> I'm shit. I'm just saying. Yeah. yeah. Yo, dog, listen. 
Yeah. Button knows who he is. He he's not fake. Look, Button's yeah. not fake, and that's what. And I'm just being. I'm not trying to justify it, but I don't think that he's a fake dude. As far as I follow his career for a while, I think that he knows himself so well that he doesn't give a fuck what the public thinks, and he'll do something to to bring the show to a higher level. E- even if people think he would like, if they figured that out, they think that he'd be selling out. But to him, he's like, I'm not selling out because I know who I am. This right, is all right, for show. Right, right, right. You know what I'm well, saying? Well, I like, think when, when I, the parts that I saw of him speaking, it did. Yeah, uh, I agree. It looked heartfelt, real. You yeah. know what I mean? Nah, it, it he looked like he's stressed too. It affected Joe. Why yeah, am yeah. I? He, he it, said it. He said, yeah, yeah, yo, yeah. I never signed up to be the boss. And Parks was like, but yeah, that's the role you have to unfortunately right, take. Right, yeah. Right. This is the Joe Budden podcast. This shit like, was you called. Created this shit was called. I'll name this podcast later. He, well, did, he never wanted it to be. Yeah. Nah, yeah. The Joe Budden's podcast. It was Ian that changed it. Yeah. Ian was like, we have to do it for branding purposes because of what I. Which level I'm trying to take. That was his own name. I'll name this podcast later. Was dope. Yeah, yeah, that was really dope. That was dope. But um, shout out to Joe Budden's podcast, man. They need to stay together. That I mean, you know, yeah, I hope so. I, I enjoy I enjoy their verses, like like when they break down the verses, like when they did the premiere versus uh, uh versus RZA. That's they've our done, job now. They've done. I guess yeah, we gotta take that. Uh, we gotta right. do that. We gotta, yeah. Yo, Joe, we got you, man. Yeah, you know I'm saying. I'll put it on my back. That was kind of like a versus. I stole Chetty's line. <laughs> 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 but um, nah, man. Shots okay. fired. Shots fired. Yeah, they definitely. Yeah, they definitely gotta like. Because that's one of the things I do enjoy with the show. I do enjoy the, their versus breakdown and all that shit. You Wait, know what I mean? Being that it was a woo versus, I'm not why you're wearing your damn shirt. thousand percent, yo. Wait, was it like a real I was, versus? I, nigga, I, was in, I, I didn't get to watch. I was in my glory, yeah. dogs. I, I was, didn't get to watch. I was in my glory. You weren't going <laughs> to watch anyway. Of you course I was. Of course. But, yeah. Psych. Anyway, so it was dog. it was it was done. It was done. <laughs> yo, I will tell you one thing. Wu Tang fan. It was done really, really I, well. Like yeah, the yeah, DJs, the DJs that they both had. Fucking bodied it. Oh, they bought their own DJs each. Yeah, yeah. this is a, see, this is the second time. Respect to the DJs D, when they did D'Angelo's verses when he was versus nobody. Um, it was he called, had two. It DJs? was called yeah, He did a concert. No, he did a concert. It was it was but like it's how nice he is. That's yo, ain't nobody fucking with him. Yeah, he had <laughs> well, nobody fucking with him. It was supposed to be Maxwell and Maxwell backed out. Of course. Oh, that would have been perfect. Yeah, no, been he was gonna get crushed. No, that would have been nice though for us. It would have been nice. Oh yeah, yeah, for <laughs> you guys, right? <laughs> Not for his ego. Because I think at the at this point verses aren't becoming like. No one's really keeping score. Yeah. It's one of those things that, like, yo, celebrating. it's a concert. It's nostalgic. It's an yeah, online concert. It's an online dude. concert. You know what I mean? It. It's where, and the thing that's dope about it. Oh, you got it, signed up to Trailer, by the way? Any of you? Yeah. yeah, no, yeah. I'm on. How much is that shit? No, it's free. The oh, one I, I didn't free. know. Yeah. I got it for, like, when they had the Tyson right versus Roy Jones fight. Okay, okay. Yeah. They like, but, gave an update to some shit like that. That's horrible. But, so um, I want you to continue the point about. Um, yeah, yeah no, I just felt like the way Versus is going now, like, I also think it's dope with Swizz and Timbaland are doing with the whole, like, you know, everybody that's been on already been on verses is getting a piece. Yeah, uh, yeah, and, yeah. And going forward, people are gonna start getting a piece. Oh, so that was my question. I think it's that def- is so I ill, think, man. I think it's definitely gonna so Ill. yeah, yeah, because he want he said he said it. He was like, Apple offered them the bag, but it was Triller that was saying that yo, but we'll give you parts. So yo, yo, can like, I just say yo, real quick how many parts nah, nah, nah. can yo, you make? Can I say stock? I predicted this? Dog? Yes. So they wanted to become to a point where it does become public, and they want. So they were saying like, yo, when it does become public, people should invest in it. So we'll see what happens there. Listen, I predicted this. Yeah, you said this before. No, I predicted that Apple was gonna want to pick this show up. You said that. Before. Remember that? Yeah, I, I like remember, the, yeah. like like the second week. I was like, yeah, Apple, Apple, how long is it yeah. before Apple picks yeah. this show up? And look, look where it they're came struggling. from. They're struggling. It's common sense, so they were gonna want to get but new they're, content. They're though. struggling look, to do that shit. Content. People are tired of Zane Low. Look yeah, where it yeah, came I feel from you. They need with, content with um uh fucking Boy Wonder and and Hit Boy. To now, it's like yo dope ass cameras. Like yo, but honestly. I love that idea of Versus so much more than like the new days of Versus because it's more right. concert-like. Before it was like they were honestly putting a spotlight on people who weren't getting any spotlight. Yeah, that was yeah. so They were Ill. their own DJs, B. Yeah. I still remember Dream looking through his own Serato to pick his tracks. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Like That shit to me was fire. Yeah, yeah. I, think, I, think, I think with things being closed and there hasn't been a concert in how long, Yeah, I think it was one of those things where like, yo, you know what? Let's transition it to having the guys actually perform right yeah. next to each other. Where I actually enjoyed, like, it was Teddy Riley versus Babyface, and they literally just pressed the button, yeah. and it was like, but I had this, though. Yeah. And I had this, <laughs> and I would be like, oh, shit. Yeah. And then I'd go back and either buy that, because to put music in Serato, I would literally buy my music. Yeah, facts. I don't download any music. And <laughs> and put it into my computer, you know what I mean? Teddy and just, like, I got, I got yo, you. I'm the plug, you just got, you just, just you just made sales. 
and they would always show everybody's music would go like yeah straight up which and i now, loved man and now they're using this shit that. as a catalyst to launch it. like brandy had a number one uh number one r&b single after her um after she, her verses. yeah because she, she timed her she single probably, right at the same time as her verses well right? that's kind of why they say about the jeezy shit and it failed because nobody went and listened to Jeezy's album. Because if it's not good enough, it's not. Good. That's the point. <laughs> yeah, it just wasn't hitting. You but but, I mean? but it definitely had the eyes on it. It had the eyes on it. it just yeah. So hit. as far as promotion reasons, yeah, like, yeah I'm yeah. sure there's a way you can calculate the fact that they got a bump. I, I, I mean, actually, just in general, people who have been on on verses, like you were saying, yeah, their old catalog gets a bump like automatically 1,000%. every single time. I think with the Jeezy one, everyone was more about the beef as right. opposed to the music. That was amazing. So, like Jeezy should have went against Ross <laughs> musically, yeah. right? Musically, they should have went against, against Ross. But it was dope to have them. To I, I don't know if I could have done that if I was Gucci, but like I said, I'm a cancer. But um, I'll be honest to me, I, I don't motherfucker try to kill me. Yeah, fuck that. No, I think Jeezy's a sucker. And I'm still gonna stick by that, my man. Like mm. you killed my man's, and you're joking about it on. Like, yeah, and try to be the bigger man, and people are like applauding. No, no, I don't think he was. I don't think he was. I don't think he was joking. But the, exactly what you said, Josh, with the whole like, yo, respect the Jeezy man for like squashing his beef. No, yeah, he caused the beef. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. What are like, you talking about? Like he and took I'm with it Gucci. There. You try to kill he me. Took it there, I hate you for life. Took it to a place where everyone would agree. Yeah. There's no coming back from. You know, most people. I, agree I, for quite, sure. I'm a 50 stand. Everybody knows that. But I've questioned some of his moves. But when he denied like doing the Ja Rule shit, I respected the fuck out of it. Yeah. Because he was like, no, what we got is real heat. Yeah. And they tried to kill him. And everybody was like, yeah, but when you saw him on the plane, you ain't do nothing to him. Because you know, if you get into a fight on a plane, that's fucking a 30 years. Yeah, word, dog. You crazy? It's I not s- even that. Why like, would how short sided are you? Yo, I'm exactly, still a yeah. businessman with all this you know said and done. Mean? I'm just not going to be like piecing it up with you. No. Do I got to talk to you and punch you in the face? And, and that's the no, line really. that we're talking about, exactly. What, what Teddy's saying as yeah. well. Like, yo, you're not going to see, just because you, you're not going to be on site with the dude. Right. You, you know, you're, you're, you have so much on the line now, but at the same time, you're not going to just split profit on a versus no, and celebrate it and no, it celebrate just, his music while you celebrate yours yeah, and benefit yeah. him while you benefit Yo, if yourself. I'm his like, family, I'm looking at this shit like... Honestly, and it, only, it benefits... I mean, to be real, it benefits Ja more than, than 50 because 50 has so much going for him anyway. Nah, right, yeah, who right, wouldn't right. want to bump in their Actually, music? Yo, you know, what, you, know what ja, you know what Ja just sold? He just sold that... Um, the fri- the fire Fest, the, the picture, <laughs> the initial picture. What is it called? Um... You know, NFT? We sell, oh, DF- NFT, 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 NFT. So yeah. for one hundred and twenty nine thousand dollars. Yeah, but not only that though. I think NFTs they get paid every single time it resells too. So he's gonna yeah. keep getting paid off you, of that. You keep that tag. That's why my next album got, will be NFT available. Off of, off of a fucking scan. Can, can we? You can, will be able can, to scan can, it can on we, a barcode in the street in Manhattan, and it'll jump right into your phone. Can we do the first purple cushion That's champagne promotion. Um, with Young Hospital? Episode zero zero zero. <laughs> yeah, we just yeah, saw that shit. Right? NFT, that shit. NFT. That's, that's not a bad idea, man. Somebody's gonna invest in it small. Yeah, and then when this shit blows up, it's gonna become fucking. Dog, we're gonna incredible. get paid you every know, single time it resells. You know what Nipsey was doing prior to him dying with the marathon shop? Mm. Like, where I, love, I love what he was doing though. With Yo, that. he was but, reinvesting in the hood with that. But forget about that. Fuck all that. Where everybody nah, thought it was that. just a retail. Nah, fuck all that. Nah. In terms of what I'm talking about, not like the fuck the hood. Yeah, this fucking shit is garbage. I know you're you know capitalist. I'm a humble skin capitalist, but he's smart. I'm saying where his mind was is so beyond. What he was doing was they had a, a system using um, augmented reality where the only way to get specific mm-hmm. songs mm-hmm. was to visit his store mm. and get it in there. And you could only hear it while you were in the store. Yeah, that's fire. So what are you doing? You're going to the store. You're already there. I'm a cop. I'm some a cop some. Crenshaw merch. Yeah. That shit to me is Imagine crazy. Drake did that. OVO, OVO clothing <sighs> will be fucking sold out. My nigga. Imagine, that should be more popping than Con- Apple store. Imagine Kanye did that, did that now with just Yeezy clothing. That's the gap. Yeezy clothing already fucking sells. So imagine that. Down the dropping in his, in his store. You got to go over there you gotta and go listen to, to Donda, it. You got to go to a Donda store to listen to it. <laughs> Yo, dog, you're going to be waiting online, dog, to get yeah. tickets to go in there. I, yeah. because, I guarantee you that. Because A, you're going to want to be the <laughs> first... <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna want to be the first one to go on Instagram to be like, "Yo, y'all niggas ain't on my level." Yeah, I no question. Dog. Already. Yo, dog. You know people I mean? were lining up to go to the the fucking the the Sunday shit that he was doing. Sunday service. Sunday service. When he was dropping the album last time, and he was mm-hmm. doing like random pop ups, whatever. People were, right. yo, dog. That shit was the hot when he was dropping the Nas. I'm like, he still. This is yo, doing what he does, dog. This is all shit happening overseas already. Yeah. I, I forgot who was saying it. He was talking. And he's he's this he's man. Like in America, we're looking at it as retail is dying. Yeah. While these other countries have figured out how to keep retail afloat and progressing, they, they were all they're all turning, yeah. Been doing that augmented reality yeah. shit, accepting the cryptocurrency yeah, shit. Yeah. Like yeah. dog, we got so many levels to reach on this podcast and, and different things to, to do with that. Like 
it's amazing. Like that's why I, I keep my ear to the streets. That's why as soon as I learned about what NFT was a little bit. Yeah, you mentioned that on this podcast, I think. Like you were like, I want to learn more about it. I need to. And literally and I, since then it was like I learned like I kept hearing about it yeah. from like that moment on. It was just like yeah. brunk. And, and yo, I don't want to miss the boat. I mean, even though Gary Vaynerchuk said right now it's like the internet boom. Yeah. Where people were overpaying, overpaying for things. For but like, it's there's gonna to be stay. so many things, but if you hit the right thing, you're gonna yeah. fucking no, it's kill here it. to stay. Yeah, yeah. It's here to stay. There's no so many things what. that are here to stay though. Like yeah. or, or not not that, but there's so many things that are gonna battle it out and something's gonna stay for you know for a while. Just By like, the way, you heard it here like first. Just like Wu Tang. Wu Tang forever. Wu Tang is forever. Good yo, Teddy. By the way, Teddy's a genius. Which for everybody, they got the, the 1400 no this lie. week. No, no lie. Oh, because the ghost versus Ray. No, we were still there. He brought it back. With no, no, I brought it back, but, but everybody got their 1400 Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Handsome shit. stomped on you bringing it back. Nah, nah. <laughs> because I want to tell everybody, I want to give everybody a play to make. Okay, fair, fair, fair. Okay. Um, because everybody's been talking about Bitcoin, and it's just a little difficult to buy Bitcoin because of the price range that it's at. And I always say Ethereum is directly attached to Bitcoin. Right now, it's projected. Obviously, Bitcoin is projected to do like 300000 by the end of the year. I don't believe that. But let's just say it's 150000 mm. Ethereum is projected to do somewhere around fifteen. Let's say it hits 8000 With that 1400 which is what Ethereum costs right now, bang, you just made yourself about right. six racks yeah. plus. If, if, you aren't, if you aren't depending on this 1400 to like, you know, make rent or... Buy food or whatever the case may be. If you're yeah, literally yeah. looking to pay, make this money to do it, spend it on a vacation or spend it on something else. Shit, I bought this money. camera yeah. with no, that you money. Absolutely should, yeah, no? right. But that, if, that that's an absolute investment, yeah. though. No, 100. percent But I'm saying, and that's yeah. a, if if it's for investing purposes, yo, dude, that's the move to make. If anybody feels like they missed 100%. a boat, because there is no boat to be missed at this point. This shit is in its infancy. Hence, like yeah. what I said with the NFT shit. Maybe things aren't going to cost 69 millions like Badagadi's uh picture, whatever he did. Mm. But at one point. They will cost one hundred and fifty thousand. Oh, it's about Fire Fry, Fry, Fest. Uh, one hundred twenty nine thousand yeah. dollars for the first ad. Yeah, I think. The, I think the first tweet. Didn't the first tweet go for six million? What? The first tweet went for six million dollars. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. He sold this tweet. Uh, the, the owner of Twitter. Uh, Twitter. Uh, so the like. So the Jay Z's boy. So the Breakfast Club is saying that they're gonna now sell. Name. I know what you're talking about. The Breakfast Club is gonna sell their first episode, and that shit is gonna make mad bread there too. This girl sold her sex tape, and it's audio only. <laughs> I what? can't believe I Hold even up, said what? that. So but it's true. Fucking, you're in a fucking moan? <laughs> yeah, yo. She, I ain't gonna you know lie. One of is. the girls I follow like, on OnlyFans you know you sells hate audio. What? I, I misp- you hate her. Well, Not that you hate Paris her. Uh, I don't hate anybody. Okay, you dislike this person. Oh, actually, I fucking hate uh, Butler. No, Jimmy the, Butler. What, Fuck you. She's, she's an R&B, but like, she does like kind of pop music. She's always in drama. Paris K. Hilton? Michelle? No. Who would you say? I said Paris Hilton. No, 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 no. No, um, she does pop. Er, no, she does like R and B. Like she's always in drum. Oh man, Tardo, fucking. Uh, <laughs> I can't stand it. Azalea Banks. Azalea Banks. That fucking oh. retard. She sold a sex tape on NFT, and wow. she's making a lot of money off of it. Wow. And it's audio only. More, more, more power to her, man. I'm with you. Too. That's Kanye's next girlfriend. <laughs> like, yo, they should really just mix up. They will be a powerhouse. Would together. he make better music? No. So then, don't. No, he's gonna make better <laughs> music because of his divorce. Oh. But yo, I'm Josh all about cares, whatever Josh makes cares, <laughs> Josh cares nothing about Kanye's well being. But his fucking yo, music. Yo, Kanye's I way better off Kanye. than most of us believe. I love Kanye. He tricked me. He I, tricked me. I love Kanye. You know, you guys know how much I love Kanye. You know, I, oh, I, sad, I, sad Kanye is the best Kanye, though. But we all know that. All I care about is, you know, what he's going to. I'm just being honest, dog. I care about his well being for on. sure. He's worth $6.6 billion, even with this divorce. You think he's going to be sad? Yeah. Nah, he's a narcissist. Dog. That don't mean shit, man. It didn't mean shit at one point. Kanye is so far He's ahead a narcissist. With the ideas that he had. But he looks at a- it And like that backs up his ideas. The fact that he's a billionaire that correct. fast, it backs up his... his Some, someone asked... All right, sorry. Paparazzi asked uh, Kanye. So, Kanye, you're going to be dabbling to fashion? I'm dabbling to fashion. You see this coat? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bro, that is the most... Yeah, he no has filter, so many, bro. But he was fucking right, though, yo. Yeah, Even, like, exactly. For you not to know that... And that was way ahead. That's when I was even say, like, "This is yo." They gave this guy Louis Vuitton sneakers. Yeah, you know, they let him design yeah. five of them. He named all five of them after his boys. Come on, man. Yeah, so, I didn't even know that that detail. Yeah, but the yeah, Seeds, the Virgils, yeah, all of them. Wow, I bins. Yep, all people who are fucking power players right now in the game. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. All birthed off of they all down though. An, an extension of them. <laughs> <laughs> we, all, we all good music. Kanye, we want to be good music. Drake, well, good too. music. Yeah, we make good music. We want to be. On we good could music. be his first podcast. <laughs> Yo, nah, you have to be a weirdo. You have to. There's, there's, there's some dude who has a, a jigs. We need to get jigs back on the show. Yeah, we you need have to be a weirdo. Yeah. 
Work. A nigga with no filter? Yeah. You need to come here dressed in a suit all the time, dog. I got to change my You got to be Rosewood. Yeah. Rosewood. Rosewood. Everything Rosewood. Everything Rosewood. Who's that? He had Rosewood? all these motherfuckers. That's when he had everybody freestyling he with the suits on. I remember Big Sean and Sci High. That was yeah. fire. Yeah. They are all wearing That's why we got to come to this, to this you know, fucking show. By the way, I'm, I'm wearing this jacket because I'm overweight and I noticed this week. <laughs> um, I'm really unhappy with myself. I was watching the videos and yeah. I'm like, what yeah, am I doing not- with my life? Like, you see I'm sweating right now. I'm sweating my life away, but I'd rather be sweating Yo, than show you that's my real chichos. talk, though. Honestly, I got to get in better shape, too, man. What the fuck? Got- Yo, I mean- if you guys see my chichos, you'd understand. Like, <laughs> like, oh, my God. Yeah. Anyway, this jacket hides it well. I'll be wearing I'll crack- the jacket all summer. I'll yeah, crack a members window. only? I'll crack a window next time, man. <laughs> this is that Target, only? boy. This is Tarjay. I'll crack a window next time. i crack a window, man. <laughs> oh, Where are we going man. next with this? Don't worry. I'm going to chop this up. I honestly thought you were saying overweight because Big Pun was like the next <laughs> thing. <laughs> yo, like, let's talk yeah. about the overweight lover. Yo, <laughs> yo, yo, big yo pun, the overweight man. lover was, was fucking um, Heavy D. Heavy D is no longer overweight yo, lover. That's you know cool. the bitches this guy? He used to get Triz, man. Mm, that's cool, man. Triz, yo, running trains. That's your right. Fucking Yo, nah. shout out to Big Pun getting yeah. the block. I told you guys prior, I'm not happy about You're this. You're not happy about I'm it. Not Why are you not happy about Big Pun getting his... Um, I'm not impressed because it's not enough. And and everybody keeps getting... They did this show with my boy Janelle's dad, where Honeye's dad, the gay one, Honeye. Mm-hmm. His dad passed away, and his dad was like really <laughs> like making moves. He's Nothing not wrong gay. With anyone. Yeah, he's super gay. Nothing wrong with that. Man. Yo, I love you. Just not in that way. Um, His dad <laughs> was like the dude on like 100 and... 48 and, and Broadway, let's say. He has a, a pharmacy there and everything, but he did so much for the community mm, okay, that okay. they named it after his dad. That's fire. You know what I'm saying? Awesome, mm-hmm. right? But, and, and this is why I may sound crazy to people, I don't find that enough, especially for a person like Big Pun that, to me, I guess, I, I may be out of it, but I think he did just so much for the people of the Bronx to but the you're, point you're, that you're he saying, had a short career. But you're saying it right there. Within that five yeah. years, he did so much for... His community and just like an impact on hip hop, um, just entertainment. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like culture that they gave him his own street. I mean, it's a corner. Give me the Christopher Rios Foundation for Kids. Give me some shit that mm. does shit. Right? Naming the the corner block where I used to hang out and pitch rocks. It ain't enough. Well, I, but you well, know what? Though handsome eventually. Sorry, Josh. No, no, I want, I want you to continue. No, you want to blame Fat Joe? No, I'm just saying. No, <laughs> well, not that. I'm saying, nah, we trying to get on Fat Joe. We're not trying to get on Fat Joe's uh, Whatever, yo, whatever Fat Joe got going I'm on. I'm not anti Fat Joe. Yeah, man. nah, not at all. How man. could you be? Yo, he's the godfather of this rap shit right now. But it's like. We're Hispanics for sure, or I should say Latinos. It, but Don't it's one of those. <laughs> <laughs> we're Hispanic. It's one of those things we are. where. We're Dominican. Y'all Latinx, right? <laughs> No, 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 no. Latin X. I ain't Latin shit. Can I just, Hispanic is from DR. I can't even and speak Haiti. Latin. Hispaniola. Hispaniola. Good, good. Go ahead, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. I just no, to get no, right. no. I was just saying with, with Pun is that, like, you know, he was only in the game for, like, a couple of years and he passed too soon. And, like, his impact. So, like, now, I think eventually he's going to get to the point oh, he where. He died in his second album. Like, kind of like Biggie. But with less time. But look how Crazy. but look how dope that is though. That just shows you like what he did for his community, for the Bronx. You know what I mean? Like the Bronx for a while, who was really besides K R S one, who was really doing their thing? Rican Peter Guns. That's what I'm saying. Who was really doing their thing? Sorry. It was Brooklyn Queen <laughs> it was Brooklyn Queens all day. Yeah. As a, as a and, the, and, and the Bronx, like you know, they're the original. Is where hip hop came from. Yeah. So like for them, to that's, not that's to what happen. they. That's what they. F- that's what they. That's, that what they, the that, that's, that's what they like to tell us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Exactly. But um. But it's <laughs> one of those things where it's like <laughs> they claim the fame. Yeah, but that is the, that is that is the Bronx claim to fame. And she, yo, oh, shout that out was to the inside B- joke. I yo, said it a certain way. Shout out to um, <laughs> shout out to Bistro. We gonna definitely do a show from there. Bistro, mm. Bistro, yeah. Shout yeah, out yeah, to Bistro. It's yeah. called Bistro. Beat Stro. Beat yeah. like Bistro, yeah. but hip-hop. beat. So you uh, get hip hop while you eat meat. Fire, I'm with yeah, that. Yeah, so we definitely gonna do something. Yes, from there. sir. Yes, sir. But um, the thing with Pun though is that like at least they give him. I mean, it took a long time, but they're giving him. It's for his family. Like his kids will pass by, and it'll be like. Eventually, maybe they're gonna. The only thing I didn't like is that it, there's like three other fucking names on that block. But I wanted to become to the point where you go, yo, meet me on Big Pun Block. Yeah, I'll be Big Pun Street. It should be Chris Big Pun Rios Avenue corner. You think they shouldn't call it Big Pun? No, nah. I mean I get it. You don't want your shit to be called no. Handsome Island. Christopher no. Rios Road. It just means be Contreras. Contreras. Uh, Cul de sac. Yeah, Contreras Corner. I like that. Contreras <laughs> cul-de-sac. Christopher I, Rios. In Rancho Cucamonga. <laughs> that would be the perfect place. What are the way? Yeah, it'll work. 
But um, what? So you're you're you're, like you're against standard, you're 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 against the whole big pun. And... I'm not against it. I just I'm I'm you not more. impressed by it. You yeah, want more. like it, it's. He deserves can, more. You know, can, can I can I say this right here? <laughs> I, Maybe he doesn't. Maybe I'm off. Th- th- and that's what I was gonna say right now. Can I just say that you know he's he, a gangster rapper. He was, no, he wasn't a perfect person either. You know, and I, not to even I'm not even gonna go down that path. You gonna slap? He slapped Liza Rios. Shit like that, you know, but I'm not going to go down details. I'm just mm. saying, like, you know, so they're not going to go all out maybe because they they got some, they got some, you know, reputation to, you know, how it is with the city and shit like that. They want to make sure that you have a kind uh, of. Because all it takes is one thing to pop up and then it becomes cancel big pun and then rip down the sign. Yeah. So in a way, in a way a that does weigh against him and what, how far they'll go to like mm. honor him. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And I, look, I'm, I don't want to like, the worst thing to do is when something positive is happening for someone. To bring up like the negative in, in their situation, I'm not mm-hmm. trying to like. Be but I'm just saying, like, to be reasonable to what you know what they've done so far and how uh-huh. far they've gone, maybe that does play a part in it. I think it's dope. I think it just shows the culture, just yeah. being the cult, you know, being the culture, being you know, moving. The impact like, we're making rap, right now. Rap and is the yeah. new fucking rock. Yeah. No matter what anybody wants to nah, say, that's facts. That's rap facts. is the new rock. You know what I mean? Yeah, and honestly, so. we're breaking ground like every day. Yeah, pretty much. Like, for Big Pun to get honored in the Bronx is. In some way, how about that? We can all agree that he should get on. Yeah, that's fine. I'm sure we can that's all agree fire. on that. Yeah, nah, yeah. listen. Some real New York shit. I'm just, I, I go overboard. <laughs> well, you love nah, pun. I, I really you do. Love pun, yeah. And you, you honestly, because, you know, I, I, just I think know, about yeah, it. You, again, you like, really like respect pun and his impact in the game, too, and everything. So, <laughs> motherfucker made it possible for me to want to, first of all, like really get lyrical. You know what I mean? Like, really just be like, because remember, again, I keep repeating it. When I grew up, it was all about flow. But people like you from Brooklyn, pun, of course. Yeah, so it was all about flow, sounded, and not that pun didn't have a flow. It's just his shit was like automatic, like every syllable rhyming and it's like shit. Like a fucking rifle, fucking. That's what best it was like. His flow, man. yeah. You, you ever think like you know we had the big episode a couple of weeks ago, we had the big pun episode, and big pun was mad funny. Big was mad witty, as you can hear from his music. Big pun from like interviews that I've seen on so fucking old man video music box, <laughs> and you would just hear him like you know say shit. Cam, shout out to Ralph McDaniel's. Look, look, yeah, shout out to Ralph McDaniel's, and you hear like Cam on 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 Instagram and stuff like that. Imagine fucking Big Pun and Biggie with a Twitter. You know how fucking funny honestly, they would be. Honestly, we we were robbed of that of all of that. Shit. Yo, those. Like you know how we fucking funny those guys would be from idiots. I, I I think like Hove Hove is not active on Twitter, and that's just not his. That's not his style. Sukuf so cool. So cool school. Which is fine, but I feel like Big was so fucking funny. Yeah. That I don't even think he'd be on some. I I definitely think he'd be successful and all that good stuff. Or how about this? I think he'd do a cam. Imagine, where like, let me just fuck with people. I think that he would have done with yo, cam, bro. but I think he would have been such a... Yo, people who are really a, like, imagine big, like Tupac Titans money-wise, they don't really Twitter. Twitter and shit like that. Imagine Tupac on Twitter, dogs. He, but, nah, anything Tupac that he saw, would be too he revolutionary. Been, he would have been... But that's what I'm saying, though. But like, I'm at, but these are like... So much stuff we see on... So much nonsense we see on Twitter. Oh, yeah, yeah. And yeah, imagine yeah. these guys that were taken from us too soon. Yeah. On these different social media platforms, that shit would be fucking hilarious. Nah, yo. For sure, it would be I, hilarious. It'd be dope. It'd be real. You yeah, know, it would I would be, love you know, to yeah. see what what because Tupac was just who's what's the name Sean Sean uh fucking I know you're talking about yeah um, what's his dude's you know you know on, sh- on 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 IG but yeah. he's super revolutionary and stuff like that um you have to edit that out yeah, like, I'll get I'll get his name but um <laughs> you know who it is man you talking about the guy that cheated on his wife. No, 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 not him, not him. Fucking. But we'll uh, use it. We'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck uh, is Sean? The dude, Sean who, King. Sean King. Good Sean shit. King. Oh, Good he's shit. a fucking clown. I knew it. Sean <laughs> King is the biggest that. clown Sean on King. fucking. Why you say Earth. that? You know why? Because he's a big fucking clown. Why? Tell so me. he pushes one narrative, you can and edit, then he pushes another you narrative. Can edit that part. Yeah, what yeah. I was saying. Him being a clown? No, not knowing the name. No, you can keep that in, but not knowing the name. I don't want to care. I can't edit this. We were talking about. No, no, we're talking about the name part. No, we're not saying we couldn't like, get the name. On the name. Now we gotta edit this part. <laughs> yeah, we're talking about it right now. <laughs> yeah. But Sean King is a fucking clown. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sean Clean. Gosh, Sean Clean. Sean King stands on so many. Like he's Mister Pro Biden this, Pro Biden that. Nah, now I don't Biden think he is. Nah, he don't like Joe. He don't like Joe Biden. He don't like Joe now. Yeah. But he was oh, pushing he that now? fucking narrative while he was in office, and I get it. Oh, anything against Trump. I can't take anything this guy says serious. This guy is Mr. Pro-Black one day. Yeah, yeah. Mr. The System is against us one day. I th- Mr. We need to use the system right the next day. So you don't think Pac... I think Pac would have been more... Pac would have ate that nigga a lot. Would have shot off the hip. Pac no. would have been like Dr. Umar. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Nah, yeah. I mean, His ideas would have been like that. You're talking was. about the way... He, he kind of The way that he... The problems you have mm-hmm. with, with Dr. Umar probably be the way that you feel like he doesn't... Uh, I think Dr. Umar's a preacher. 
right? A preacher that doesn't go in the streets. Yeah. Okay. And I think so. He's he's preaching one thing. He, but 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 Pac, but Pac he, the mindset that he had. Pac, Dr. Umar Pac comes off like this dude that just got fucking caught. What's his name? Fucking name? Derek, the, uh, De- Derek Jackson. Yes. yes but it's yes, Jackson yes. with the X N. That's yeah. so fucking. That annoys me. Yeah. That annoys me big time. Yeah. Like it's just so stupid. His face that always annoyed me. X N. What do you mean? I didn't even know. J A X N. J X J X N. So it's yeah. Jackson. That's not his real name. Josh his name. Josh Josh got really annoyed by hearing that. Yeah. No. That's not his name. Isn't it J A X O N? I I don't know. Well, I just I just saw it on right IG. It was J X N, but um, where's where's Faid when you need him? Yeah, what? right, right, yeah. Too many people are taking the day off today. <laughs> Yo, but, you're um, right. It's J A X N. J X. Yeah, right. <laughs> so like with 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 him, it's like one of those things where, you know, you saw the thing this week with him. Yo, he literally brought his girl on, on social media to say they're holding hands, and he's literally like, yeah. So you know. I cheated. I did this. I did this. I did this. It was years ago. But he does all these videos. He did it to try to try to be like the the Check. most respectable right. man. And he, and he did the right and way. He did, and he did all these videos with like, you know, it would be he. Okay, you know who he got at? He got at Gilly. Yeah. I remember that. So Gilly was um, you know, people people get slide did Gilly's DMs and be like, yo, OG, I got this question. That's how Gilly became famous. And I remember we used to send each other those videos all the time because <laughs> yeah. we used to be, you know, we used Million to be laughing. Or, worth yeah, a game. Man, yeah, right. Right. He was, right. He would say he would say funny shit. He was like, "Yo, but you know what?" He was like, "You think she's not cheating, but somebody's knocking the stuffing off that English muffin." Yeah, <laughs> and he say like funny shit like that. And then like the guy, like the guy, let the video go. And then he goes, "No, but if you were better to her, you wouldn't have to worry about another guy being with her." And blah blah blah. And then like, yo, so Gilly, when Gilly saw that, Gilly was like, "Look at this motherfucker, yo." Yeah, <laughs> going and getting that right me. So, word. And yo, Gilly found a video from two years ago. Like that, he have him getting ahead. Like Gilly was waiting for this fucking day. He had to save. Like Josh. it was, yeah, a, it was, an, like it was you, bro. It was like both of you dudes. It was an NFT. I don't got receipts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Jan, yeah. I got receipts. That's true. Josh, you got mad receipts. Though. <laughs> it's because it's easy to pull up. But, but <laughs> not so, because I have it saved. It's just easy to pull up. I'm I'm good at researching. So <laughs> it's one of those things that yo you can't yo you can, what is it you don't throw stones if you got a glass. Yeah, house, come on. You know how are you not gonna know that? Come on, Fifty man. said that, bro. You, they say you shouldn't throw stones. Pot calling the kettle you black. Watch your mouth. Like, you exactly, because I mean? I'll break so your much, face. It's so much shit. Like, yo, he comes off all high and mighty. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, he's telling all these guys, and then, you know, your, your, your shit is not. And then another thing, too, like, what I found funny about it, why bring your girl on camera, too? I mean, she did nothing wrong. No, nah, I agree. You saw the positioning, though, the way they were sitting and everything, and her hand no, was I did. I, I, over <laughs> his. I pay attention. You're to really gonna like go that. into that. De- I can't believe. Oh, you, you know what? I, you know what? I, you, I pay attention you, to you know a what lot I, of that. You shit. know what? I paid attention to the fact that he didn't even pay for her to get her hair done because she lives <laughs> there with a fucking do rag. <laughs> yeah, on, she had her wow. tubi on. Like, why? Like, why not have her be like a little glam? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like, she looked like she just woke up. Yeah. He looked. He just woke up. I was like, "Yo, we gonna do this thing in the kitchen real quick." <laughs> he caught her slipping. He basically, caught her big time. <laughs> and then now, forever, motherfuckers gonna flame her and be like, "Well, now I know why he cheated." Yeah. You know what I mean? Because look, at least she some looks, people will say look that. at how she looks when she wakes up. At least some people will but say that. But people are gonna not people in this troll. generation. Yeah, the, this, there's just this, no reason to do that though. In general. Absolutely, yeah, she, yeah, she sure. didn't ask for that. You Especially know that like a lot of that has to do with him keeping his brand. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, so therefore, he wants to keep his. She ain't fucking up the bag. What do you mean? The reason she was on camera, whether she agreed or disagreed, okay, she's, doing yeah. the, she's doing the um Hillary Clinton. Yeah, she ain't dumb. Picture her being like, yeah. well, we don't know yet. We will see how this turns out, but maybe. well, no, the, supposedly right. they're selling a book now. So this this but almost looks I, like I, I'm gonna uh, buy I'm gonna buy a book for you to tell me how to treat my woman when you not even treat your woman. No, right? it, it's called know. Recovery from Infidelity. Oh, uh, okay. So he's trying to make it they like take the, they take the next level of their relationship. Yeah, like I was coming, I was coming out with this already. This is Drake with the baby. Because, it, yeah. <laughs> this is Drake with the baby. But oh, ain't no push a T to fucking kill the game <laughs> right now. <laughs> it's with um, uh, the, the Adidas release. Adonis. Adidon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Adidon. Yeah. Story of Adidon. Yo, Drake, you a sucker. <laughs> <laughs> but if you have OVO radio, we would love to be on the air. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> a thousand percent we would. I wouldn't. Uh, a thousand percent we would. You're one of the greatest of this generation. Uh, all that good stuff. <laughs> a thousand percent we would. Shout nah, out to and o- and o- and OVO Diggs right now is nah, shaking his head in his You car. should respect <laughs> People that have an opinion, I so respect me and put me on the network anyway. You know, think you a sucker. Anyway, 
I'm sorry, where were we at? Uh, uh, <laughs> you're talking about Jackson. <laughs> Fucked up one bag. Jackson, Jackson with it. Yeah, I know. It's it like a, a week, one. It's it like a a weekly. Fish. We need to put like a graphic, the weekly bag of how many yeah. bags we <laughs> fucked up. Like one, two. How we're trending. How we're trending. How, Yo, how, we're trending. how many famous people did we Arrow insult? down. How many, <laughs> how many famous people did we insult today? <laughs> Word. Like a stock. Yeah, Our exactly. stock was going up when we, when we shouted out Hove, and then yeah. it goes back right down. It's just tanking. When I said Leo Cohen, it went Word. down. The name is like, fuck these motherfuckers. Facts. Facts. Fuck man. Oh man. No, but um but yeah. I'm sorry, I got so lost right there. No, no, uh, so funny. the the thing with that, like I the, he, she's protecting the brand for now, but we don't know what her next move is gonna be. You know what I mean? Like mm. his wife or whatever. So her own Twitter? I'm just saying we don't know her it, it's it just kinda just happened, you know what I mean? So like if she ends up like well, leaving in a week or so, then yeah, you're yo, right. She was so if anybody bag, watched that and was like, Wow, I commend what he's doing, get the fuck out of here, bro. I agree. But they're gonna be. They're gonna, gonna be people. Yeah, exactly. He has, one no, point, he has cheaters point, as well. He has one point nine million followers. Damn. But, but they're not, not only they're so, cheaters, but they're, they're sheep. They're people who have no backbone. I'm sorry to say, yeah, there's, there's criticizing people, but I'm just being real. Like nah, some people are just gonna follow. Yo, the let's original normalize thing and just gonna, criticizing people. Yeah, I agree. Stop. With you. Let's stop the fucking like, yo, you. No, can't what, say what, what shit. I mean is, I don't want to generalize. I do. I don't like generalizing. I do. I don't like generalizing, but there is people out there who you call fit them sheep. The, yeah, there's people. No, no, no. There's people who are sheep to everything. Mm-hmm. To to their first initial uh something, they don't want to lo- they don't want to be wrong about it. So they're they yeah, they'll they, follow they're the one to die in the sword. Yeah, exactly. So right, therefore, right. there's a lot of people who are gonna John follow Snow. him anyway. Yes, John Snow. I don't even know why you should you so shouldn't even, you shouldn't even be talking about no. What BLT. happened with this idiot? Uh, what was it, the Angela Russell shit going on? Oh, oh you know, yeah, so I, we I'm were, a big fan. And why, why, it was funny because like why I brought up the whole like imagine like <laughs> I brought a big pun and pop because they were genuine characters where you kind of have these new guys now that are like like Trolls? when is yes like when is D'Angelo Russell gonna learn man? What did he do? That's what I'm saying. So I, we're talking about Twitter. I'm so thinking about once, his shit. Once Lamelo Ball got hurt. He went and pretty much like said like as soon as he got hurt, he replied to the report saying, "Oh, Anthony Edwards, rookie yeah. of the year." And I'm like, "Yo, dogs, that's super." <sighs> First of all, that's like, and I know you don't want to hear this word, but that's super insensitive. The dude just fucking broke his wrist. Yeah. Like, don't reply to that. That that actual post of him saying, "Yo, this guy's hurt," to be like, "Yo." I guess Anthony Edwards is going to win uh, Rookie of the Year. Not only Yo. that, though. Who didn't know Anthony Edwards is going <laughs> to be Rookie of the Year? I know he was going <laughs> to fucking say that. Fuck a broken Yo, wrist. Who, are you going to bring up episode 38 and, Le- and you're going to have it in the corner? Yeah. Of how, about this, how about this? LaMelo has the, the Hornets in the fourth spot, I think. We're now in the East. Oh, no, no. They're, bo- they're balling. It's a big, a big Timberwolves thing. are in the last spot in the West, man. <laughs> that, that's a big that's I'm a talking big about argument. Rookie of the Year, not Team of the Year. I'm they went from the- being, what, number, number two yeah. pick? Number three pick, the Hornets. Yeah, last year. Yeah. Number two. Number two to being the fourth seed in the East. Yeah, that's cool. That takes a team. That's the same way that Melo took the Nuggets his first year. You know, not to get into a sidetrack thing, yeah, but yeah. that's you know he deserves a lot of credit for that for he being part of a team. One hundred percent. Timberwolves haven't had a team in a hot minute. Agree to disagree. The Melo ball. Nah, yo, the Melo <laughs> is balling. He ain't doing better than Anthony Edwards. Anthony Edwards is like one of the best. Nah, you don't, but you don't, you I, don't. I'll say this: Anthony Edwards is deserving of being in that conversation, though. So you know what? For him yeah. to have that opinion, I'm not gonna. You know, that's just your opinion. Yeah, but uh, it's fine to have that opinion. Yeah. No, I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about D'Angelo Russell. I'm talking about what his opinion was. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no, no. And rookie of the year since he started, nigga. Yeah. But for you to have that opinion. Replying to yeah, I'm with Lamelo you. Ball getting hurt, I'm with and you. it's like, team? and you know what's crazy? Uh, D'Lo no. is D'Lo's on the, on the Timberwolves. Okay, on the Timberwolves. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. that's why he said that. That right. makes sense. Yeah, but okay, my okay. thing is though, is like, don't reply to that. Yeah. Don't even send that tweet like within that hour of the guy breaking his wrist. Yeah. They'd be like, oh, well, he's one now. Like, my thing is, is like, yo, I think Swaggy P tried to warn us yeah. years ago. He's mad immature. You remember what this the dude did? Was immature. Yeah, yeah, like, that's exactly. A, that's a no goal. Wait, with Iggy. Yo, that's crazy. And you know, yo, D'Angelo Russell. Is Honestly, that shit still blows my mind because that's like a, not even an immature thing. That's no, like, no, a, like who the fuck mind. was the person? Who do you have? No older it's people in your he, life. It's who he was raised with. Yeah, yeah like who, you have no yeah. older male in your life. Yeah, no. Most I'm, of I'm these my guys, older brother, nah. older friend. Most of this new generation doesn't because anybody three years older than them is an old head. Yeah, yeah, that, that's a good point. Man. Diego and, thinks and, you're an old head, and they don't respect. And they don't respect. And they don't respect. And they don't respect the OGs. 
They don't, I don't like yeah. OGs. Yeah. yeah. No, they they actually I've heard, you know, I listen to like young and they'll mm-hmm. say shit like I have no OGs. It's like a common thing that oh, okay, like okay, young yeah, artists yeah, are saying. Yeah. Shit like, like, I, I upgraded my OGs. I don't got no OGs. Yeah, I, exactly. Yeah, exactly. But it's, yeah, exactly. It's, it's one of those things. That's like actually makes a lot of sense. It's one of those things because I think these young guys are on the defense because the OGs are always trying to sun them. And it's difference between sunning somebody and kind of well, some try to sun them, and then teaching somebody. some try to sun them, and then they take a, that exactly. A, a lot of them can't take criticism either. Right, generation. Yes, well, you but, you're, but you're right. You're right. But some of them don't try to sun them, dude. Generation Y, everything is offensive. I didn't know right? Generation so Y, everything. Yes, yeah, Jeremy's generation and Aubrey's. Okay. Everything. Anybody born after like '98, I believe. Everything to them Those is Gen Zers, right? That's what I thought it was. Gen oh, Z. I'm sorry. Yeah. So who's yeah. Gen Y? Oh no! I think you whoever, didn't, I think whoever that generation know. is, though. Well, whatever that generation, I know what yeah. you're talking about, though. Gen Z. I can't I even think, name them anymore. It's called, th- Gen, it's called Gen Z. I thought it was Gen Z because yeah, Gen of Z-ers, yeah. year 2000. Yeah. It was like Gen Z fit the from it, from. I think it's from 85 to whatever or 97. What is that considered? That's considered um, uh, Generation X. No, 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 no. They stopped that. Generation K. That's no, the not Mets. Generation That's the Mets. Mets. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, are we going to have a baseball episode? Fire. Actually, actually went over my head. That we're we're going like to have a, um, it's going to be opening Fire. day next Thursday. Yeah, yeah. So we definitely got to yeah, have I'm a Nobody that. watches baseball. <laughs> <laughs> look, has to oh, look up where we are, Generation Y or, or, or Z. No, nah, I was mad off. Baby we're not, boomer. Oh, millennials. That's we're, millen- yeah, we're, we're millennials. millennials. We're millennials. We're millennials. Yeah, millennials. I thought we were millennials. I'm not a millennial. And it's funny because I think I'm millennial. You missed the cut. You missed the cut. You missed the cut. That, Danny's the old head that talks about yeah. all the problems today are because of millennials. <laughs> you know what happens. You damn millennials. You know what happens. I'm pretty sure if you go back to podcasts, you'll find one Next where he's going to introduce us. Agree, Yo, this is your man, Handsome Island, and I got these two fucking millennials, millennials next to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm a wannabe millennial. Nah, yeah, I'm you're actually okay, wrong. Okay, okay. So I was wrong as well. Okay. Okay. Millennials are Generation Y, which is 1980 to 2000. Oh, so, you're so we're all millennials. You're I'm not a millennial. millennial. Danny, you're, you're fucking millennial. I'm from Brooklyn. I'm from Brooklyn. Uh, <laughs> Generation Z is 2000 and beyond. So what I was saying about Generation Yo, Z, I swear to God, what? if you don't clip that, I'm not a millennial. I'm from Brooklyn. Yeah, facts. I'm gonna be so <laughs> mad with you. I'm gonna be so mad with you if you don't clip but that. But it's a fact. I'm no, not a millennial. No, please clip that. Oh. <laughs> I'm not a millennial. I'm from Brooklyn. That reminds me of my little cousin Melanie. When we were kids, she, they asked her one time, a clown, like, "Are you married or single?" She's like, "I'm Dominican." I'm Domin- <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. that's a, I was so proud. Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that's my job. Yo, that's the walk off jump good. shot. That's the walk off jump shot. Yeah, right there. That's the so. walk off jump shot. Right there. Well, every father wants to hear. Holy that's the perfect shit, answer. Uh, anyway, Gen Z. Shout out to Melanie. At Gen Z, anytime you even mention anything that doesn't go with their views, you're hating. Mm. You're opposed to them. You're this and that. So obviously, they have no OGs. It just makes sense. Yeah, no, I agree with that. Any kind of advice is like, oh, here we go. You're judging me. No, no, yo, chill. Chill, chill, chill. I'm trying to talk to you. Yeah. I do it with my nephew, with Jeremy. Like, I try to have a simple kind I don't feel good right now in this environment. I'm going to get out of here. Yo, he's done that shit. (laughs) He's like, (laughs) okay, I'm not here for the attacked. attacked. (laughs) (laughs) The nigga, and I'm there like. This is making me uncomfortable. Yo. (laughs) I got to go. I got to get exactly. myself out of this area. Exactly. Yo, what did I miss? Let man. me remove myself from this situation. <laughs> Yo, you know how much I want to see Handsome's <laughs> face in this situation? <laughs> His I confused really face, like, Nick. I'll be flabbergasted. <laughs> I'm just like, what the fuck what, just happened right now, you, B? What are you going to do when Penelope tells you, when you go to Penelope's room and you're like, hey, can I talk to you about something? You'll be like, this is my space. Yeah. <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> I'll be dead just, by then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not making it that far. Oh, shit, man. I always tell Sharice, yo, you got a lot to handle in her teenage years. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. I, I won't be here. Oh, I wish Make I sure you stand your, your ground. Face, son. I wish I could see your face. You're in trouble, wait. son. Oh, no, I think man. I'm actually a cool dad in that sense. I, I, you know what <laughs> I mean, that thinks they're a cool dad, nigga. I, no, in that, because I, I expect... There's not one a, father that says, I think yeah, I'm a bad father. Exactly. No, no, no. Or not they, the cool they dad. Think Only they're niggas cool. that are locked up exactly. say that shit. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> let, me, let me let the joke finish. So they think they're cool because they think they could relate. Mm. I know I'm not going to relate. Okay. I know... I, I deal with Aubrey and Jeremy all the time. I know... My job is gonna be to just sit back and laugh at myself. Okay. Because it's nothing I can do. Yeah. It's it's the and especially if they continue to be this way, I'm super fucked. So I I said I gave up. I've been through my especially she's a girl. Threw the white flag in. Yo, women are Wave what the they are from birth, dude. Tiny. The sickest shit on earth, my like guy. Sickest shit on earth. They are born. No, that's facts. Illogical. Dog, I I knew that because when I saw uh you know my niece grow up, she Adele she would do like very, very, very sassy girl shit. And it's like, 
who the fuck taught you this? No, nah, it's just it's just, it's just the, the way they are. Yeah. It's just the way the they genetics. are. Yeah. Yo, it's crazy. So yeah. I failed already. I'm done. Yeah. I lost. Big L. Yeah. So, but that that has to do with with her being a female and the generation she's born into. Though. Yeah. So you yeah. acknowledge the fact that this genera- like there's nothing you can do about that either. You can't. Even- Yo, Aubrey got so tight earlier today because I forgot what she was talking about, and Heidi's like, "Yeah, she's woke," and she's like. Do not use that word. <laughs> I am not, that is not a I'm word not woke. Anymore. I was woke two years ago. Yeah. But this year, I'm not woke. I was <laughs> occupying Wall Street, but no more. When everybody was saying I was woke back then, I was saying it myself. <laughs> but this year, I'm not saying it. That's, oh, no. that's offensive. Yeah. Yo, and I saw that shit, and I'm like, uh, yeah, I lost. Uh, <laughs> I lost. Uh, take your L. Yo, what I was saying earlier, take your L's uh, when they come, man. Yeah, nah, nah, but... You, uh, that's different. I think every kid is when uh, when I was younger too. When I was like uh, going between like high school to college type shit, like I was definitely that was when like Bush was president and shit like that. That's when I really got into like the whole politics shit. Where you calling me fucking young Bernie young, before and shit? Young yeah. Bernie. <laughs> yeah, that's when I got into politics and I started taking like uh, like even just in general like just being mad about the system and all of that kind you of need shit. Need to so, be your new AKA. Yeah, <laughs> might. Okay, young Bernie. I might be. I bet you I <laughs> might be. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Gucci. Nah, no, oh. but you know what I mean? Like, I, like at that time, I'm, I'm trying to say, like, at that time, you don't have it regulated. You think that you're yeah, going to fucking- Your hormones are bursting. You want to fucking break through everything in the system. Everything that's wrong is like, so therefore, it may feel that way, but it may just be because they're kids at the end of the day, and at that age, we kind of, and I know it sounds like everything that everyone said before us, but like, when we were their age, we kind of had that kind of like- Nah, we're different. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna change the game. We're gonna change the system and well, all of this kind of shit. You know, it's like, when you start getting a sense of self, right? Exactly, because yeah, you yeah. start feeling like you are actually an adult because you're going to college, you're handling your own shit, yeah. right? And you think, yo, I know, I could do this I'm shit doing. myself. Yeah, I, I got I got, I got a, this. I got a sense of self from this show. I'm not single. Yeah, I'm not taken. I'm Guyanese. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that was fucking amazing. <laughs> <laughs> You guys need one to plug? Yo. <laughs> no, but wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> wait, one thing I wanted to say too was it's it's crazy because when I think about D'Angelo Russell, the picture I think about him every time. Bad braids. Bad braids. No, nah, no, nah, not that. Not that. I know it's, it's you're him, like that for real. It's him in the corner with like his phone like nah. this and Swaggy P gave nah, 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 That's true out. too. It's it's him jumping and Kobe uh, like this. Oh yeah. That's <laughs> yeah. yeah. in the video? Yeah, you're like a disappointed. <laughs> he's father. jumping, he's like he's doing something yeah. like real like kid shit like this, like jumping like yeah. this, and all of a sudden you see Kobe behind him, he's like this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because they had like a game winning shot or something. And they're acting they, like kids and shit. They, Kobe acting like like nigga. They showed Jimmy we Kimmel have showed yeah. shot. God rest <laughs> exactly. his soul. Jimmy Kobe. Kimmel showed Kobe a video of them celebrating after a win, and they only had like 15 wins at that point. And yo, <laughs> Jimmy Kimmel just kept started laughing yeah. when he showed. They panned to Kobe's face. I remember and that, Kobe yeah. was just like looking at them. And I think Kobe said like, "Nah, that would I would nah, never do that." He was like, yo, would, would, that, like "Would that happen if you were there?" He's he like, "Nah, like, no nah, way. That wouldn't happen if I was there. No way. I'll take their sneakers away." He he did do that. No, That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Oh yeah, he did do that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you're right. You're right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining us this week. Yeah, um, I apologize if any of you are from Gen Z. Psych. I don't apologize, you soft ass mother. Or anybody else that like, we offended this show? I think we should end every show saying that. Why? We apologize for our views and anyone who we, we offended don't, this but show. We don't. We don't <laughs> apologize. I, I, for I'd love shit. to see where our bag meter is at if we're up or down. If our stock <laughs> yeah. is up or I'm down. I'm gonna tell right you guys now. right now. When the cameras <laughs> go off, these guys high five me and agree with all that I say. That's why this is not true <laughs> it is true, <laughs> true. On, my, on my end it's true <laughs> on my end it's true I'm a bad oh, guy Brenda <laughs> I'm really I'm really Josh I'm really I'm not bad, who you think I am I'm really a bad guy <laughs> this uh, nice guy shit I've been meaning to tell you I'm not who you nice think I am <laughs> this is my com- yo but shout out to all the listeners shout out to everybody that's commenting shout out once nice. again to Cuts and Cloth, yeah, Rich Life, and, NYC. Yeah, absolutely. Shout out uh, to our anybody, favorite plug, Queens Bully. Yo, anybody, where are the free wings, man? Anybody that listens to our show, <laughs> that sends us comments, Facts. sends us suggestions of what you want to talk about, wanting to be, we're getting people that want to be guests now and stuff like that, too. So, it's, you know, it's, it's moving. Yo, Facts. Facts. hip-hop Facts. advocates, I'm fucking it's around. Moving. Thank you guys for, obviously, like, resharing our shit, um, yeah. allowing our curator to curate a lot of your stuff. <laughs> anybody think, that shares our shit, beautiful. anybody Facts. that hits us up. <laughs> Anybody that, you know, fucks with us, yo, we appreciate all the love. Shout out to our Yo, cast real, we support. coming back, man. You know uh, yeah, I mean? word. <laughs> our ex-castmates, man. I mean, not our ex-castmates, our castmates who aren't at this, <laughs> this show right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We miss you guys. Cousins that ain't cousins so. no more because you we'll disappeared. Nah, like, you we'll helped build the foundation yeah, here. No, no, you didn't. We're definitely going to have those guys back on the show. want to work them in and stuff like that when, when, it's, when it's time. Nagy said he'd I be think. up to coming back. I would love to have Nagy on the show. That would be beautiful. He just wants his money back for the mixer. He's, he's that's, what up, he's he's that that's what he's coming for. That's what he's coming for. Well, you guys, let's bring it in. Good episode. Nah, what? Nah, man. Disrespectful. Cheers.
Or bad luck, I should say. Not English. Good episode. Brooklyn. Cheers. Cheers to you guys. <laughs> I wish yeah. I had something to post on social media after the show, but... We no have one, nobody here no to record. Here. Yo, let's, no let's, let's take a picture right Buddha. now. Let's take a picture right a, now. Like, while let's we're take a selfie. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, team nobody. 